What's good? Back with a new video, man. And um, very serious video. I think it's gonna be an awesome video, bro. Dope video. Um, to the people like me, from the hood, started at the bottom. Um, y'all know we was we are very afraid to receive help. And in the hood, they tell us to do it on our own all the time. They tell us to, you can do it, you don't need no help. We, we, we have this mindset of, we don't need you. Then when we actually need somebody, we feel guilty to ask for help because we like, man, I told everybody I don't need them, fuck them, it's me against the world. Yo, we have really been ruined, yo. The people from the hood, with this mindset, we, 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 we put ourselves in position to struggle. Now, I want to say this to y'all, man. Don't be afraid to test out new things. Don't be afraid to receive help. I'm, I had this conversation with this dude, man. And uh, it's one of my coworkers. And I'm going to say it. They white, right? So I got two white coworkers and a black coworker. My trainer, black. The other two guys... Um, they white. They do a lot of things that I'm not used to. They willing to help. They willing to give. And I'll just be like, yo, what the fuck? Why he, why he giving me this? Why he doing this for me? And man, we had a conversation. And, and um, because I be thinking they be trying to sabotage me sometimes. I be thinking they trying to belittle me. You know what I'm saying? Or make me feel... Some type of way. Like, I be feeling like, man, is he trying to set me up? Or do he really want to help me? And granted, he talked to me. We had a conversation the other day. He said, I see how you be looking at me. You think, like, you think I be trying to hurt you. But I, I, I'm the one who helped you got the job. Like, where I work at, this dude, the dude that I'm talking about, one of them. Like, he was, he was real vocal, man, about me working there. He talked, him and his boss, they talked together in order to hire me. Like, they had a conversation. Yeah, it came from, they had a conversation and said, okay, we would like to have him. Then it went up to the big dude. Y'all know I have a, a conversation. I had a video, I have a video about that. Like, it was their decision, right? So then I had to go talk to the big boss. And then they made all the, the extra fast movements, you know. But it was ultimately up to them. And what I'm saying is, like, we got, we can't be afraid to receive help. And to let people in, bro. Like, we got to stop thinking that it's us against the world. Because it's actually people out there that truly want to help us. And he was like, bro, like, you think I'll be out to get you the way you, you know, because certain things they do. And, and I got to understand that they just playing. But I have to realize, coming from the hood, these people don't think like that. He not from the hood. They not out to get you. When they do something for you, or they just bring you a fucking gift to work, and they be like, yo, this dude just bring alcohol. One time, they just brought, like, I actually, while I'm talking about it, I have a fucking bottle right here. I'm at the baseball game. Me and one of my girls, well, me and my, the girl I was fucking with, right? We had the baseball game. And we just chilling, junk talking. He was like, yo, got you a gift. I'm like, Huh? He just finna give her this? I'm like, nah, I'm good. He was like, no, take it, take it. He gave us two of these. Now, granted, the real deal, like big alcohol, he just bring it to work. Yo, we, I got this new, I want you to try it out. Yo, some season is downstairs in the cab. I don't know why I thought I had it up here, but he, he brings season to work. Yo, I got some season I want you to try. Yo, he got some new uh, food from Louisiana. Yo, I got this um, boudin, boudin or something like that. If y'all know what I'm talking about, it's like some sausage from New Orleans or something. Yo, you gotta try this. Yo, he bring um, yo, let's go um, uh, let's go shoot guns. I mean, I don't got no gun, man. I don't have nothing to shoot. I don't. So they just give, man. Sorry about that. So they just be giving them like, man, um, like, like, why is you giving me all this? Then the other guy, the other guy, he. he he cool as fuck too. And he just like, yo, I was like, when I first got my apartment, he was like, yo, I got you a housewoman gift. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, we got to stop being afraid to receive love. Like, like real talk, bro. We afraid to receive love and that's what it is. Because we didn't, ne we never knew what love was. Because people in the hood, we don't get love. 
We get, yo, do what the fuck I say, and that's it. Like, majority of us, we growing up on our own. We don't have no connection to our parents. We don't have a connection to our family. We have no idea what love. And speaking for me, and I know it's a lot of y'all like me that can relate to this. We don't know what love is. And we grow up 30 years old, 20 years old, and try to find out what love is. And we try to, and people wonder why, no, why you just don't let me love you? We don't know what that is. Like, I don't know what love is other than the love for my child. I don't know no other type of love. Other than me loving my daughter, I don't know what type of love. And I'm seeing these guys, like, these guys showing me, man, like, this is what we do. Like, like it's cool. Like, I'm going to take you out to dinner. Yo, you want to go out to eat? I'm like... Now what the like like this is what they do and I'm had I had to learn this bro. Yo, you need some help? Why don't you just say something? I like man, I ain't want to I ain't want to ask, huh? But you need help, right? I like yeah. Like even at work, like a job, I be sitting there struggling. Like okay, so I'm new. I'm new to building helicopters. I don't know that about no fucking helicopter. These guys been doing this ten plus years. They know what they need to know. So all I do is need to ask, right? So I'm sitting there like. Damn, how you do this? How you open the top on this? Damn. Why? They been opening the tops on this shit for like 10 years, right? So they sitting there like, now, you know, they doing their thing. They killing it. They open the top. You know, this is an analogy, y'all. I'm just, so they they killing it. They just doing their thing. And I'm sitting here like, uh, I never built a helicopter. What am I supposed to do here? And I'm like, <laughs> they like, man, you everything okay? I'm like, shit, I don't even know. I don't know how to do this right here. I mean, just ask my man. You know, I'm going to help you. And I'm like, wow. And, it, and the reason I'm making this video because it's just plain to me now that I really don't know how to love. I don't know how to be a friend to people. I don't know how to care. I don't. And that's what I'm trying to get y'all to see so y'all can fix this early. Guys, if you're wondering why we so fucked up and we don't let people help us and and this it because we was raised in a lifestyle that was negative now it's time for to actually let people help us and it's it's time to stop thinking that we need to be lone wolves we don't need to be a fucking wolf that's out of the pack it's people out here that want to create a pack with you you have to allow yourself to accept that help and accept that love man everybody not out to get you and i know it's so hard bro i know this one of the things like we hood kids we have fucking stuck in our head yo they trying to get me yo they trying to set me up we have that shit in, embedded in us like be careful everybody out to get you everybody trying to hurt that thing right there and there don't let nobody touch it and what I'm learning is, and like this dude said, bro, I'm on your side. Like, he just talked to me, and I'm like, man. I'm like, wow. Because an uh, 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 incident happened at, at, we went out to eat. We went out to eat uh, last Friday, right? And so this restaurant that we went to, I have a little situation with some girls that work there. Because, you know. So, I'm like, man, I don't like coming here no more. Because we had a little situation. So I'm like, I don't want to go. I don't like being here. But this, this is where everybody going. This, like, it's a, a work dinner, you know, a work lunch type thing. So everybody got to go. Well, we don't got to go. But, you know, it's just part of being in the pack. This is our coworkers, you know. We all stay together. We we go out. We have fun. We do shit. So I'm like, okay, cool. This is the place we want to eat at. Because we usually go to um, Umi's, you know, so we drink sake and all that shit. But this time we went to um, Mi Haciana. It's a um, Mexican restaurant. So I'm like, man, okay. All right, whatever. So, situation happened. I'm thinking, I'm just going to fast forward. I'm thinking that he down there saying something negative. So, I get a little hot. I'm like, yo. You know what I'm saying? Granted, it probably disrespectful. But, like, when I feel like people attacking me, you know, and I don't really know, I, I instantly react. And he, and so he, he didn't say anything. He was like, okay. He was like, yeah, you, you do. And I was like, you know, basically like, like, what the fuck? You know, like this one. I'm like, and so fast forward the other night, he said, yo, you know, I kind of seen how you you reacted about. And this is the thing. Like, he held it in all the way to now. Like, that happened like a couple days after. And, he, you know, like, it happened a couple days before we actually talked. And I'm like, damn, he ain't said nothing about it. I'm thinking, you know, because I had let the shit go. And I'm like, so. 
Y'all gotta forgive me. I talk so fast. I gotta learn to fucking slow down. Let shit, let shit format, you know. So, fast forward, he telling me about like situation like, yo, I ain't mean no harm, you know. I was actually down there protecting you because the boss was about to make a joke and you know try to you know mess with those girls and make a joke come back on you, and I was actually protecting you. But you know, I understand, you know, you ain't really here because you at the other end of the table. It's like a big long at table. And I'm at the other end down there laughing with everybody. They down there on their end. So it's like I don't really know what's going on, but I just instantly seen like I felt like they were trying to trying to make a joke out of me, right? So I instantly react like, you know what I'm saying? I got a little hot, like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, and he was like, yo, I'm protecting you all the time. Like I'm on your side. You know what I'm saying? And you think I'm, I'm against you when I'm not, you know, like you work here. You know, I had a lot to do with that. You know, like I, I like even now, you know, I'm still showing you stuff. I don't, you know, cause like he my lead, man. He don't really have to help me. Right. He can help me as much as he want. But at the same time, he can just let me fucking fly and just get fired at the end of the day. Cause I don't know what I'm doing. But this dude always fucking reaching out to me. He always trying to show me and doing, you know, like I said, he the one who taught me about the fork and the spoon and the knife. How the the big to small or something, or small to big go from the inside. Cause he know, he, he always try to get me to try new food. He 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 be even offering me. He took me to, um, he took me golfing cause he know, he know I don't, I never experienced none of that stuff. He took me fucking shooting guns. But my first time ever shooting guns, like at a gun range was with him. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, get off that subject. All right. But look, so he, he showing me a lot of stuff, man. And I was like, but it be sometimes I be like having a fight with myself. Like, is he trying to, what is he trying to do? Is he just trying to get me in so he can, you know, set me up for me to get fired? But like, like I had to, like, we got to let go, bro. I know we from the hood and I'm talking to people so like me. I know we, we were raised in a situation where we, we taught not to trust nobody. But listen, that's not going to get us far. I'm 27 years old and I lived it on my own for so long and I put myself through harder situations and harder times simply because I didn't want to ask for help or I didn't want to talk to people or I didn't want to let certain people in my life. Yo, we got to learn to take chances. Take chances, bro. Let people see in. Give people some opportunity to be a benefit to you and you can be a benefit to them. Like people from, like me, we don't even give people a chance to benefit us. Like we was just, man, fuck that. Nah, uh-uh, I don't trust you, bro. Nah, you over here trying to buy me lunch. Nah, get the fuck on, dude. I ain't fucking with that. But we got to stop that mentality. We got to change that and give people a chance to love us and show us what love is. Because a lot of us, we really truly don't know how to love. And we turn a lot of people away that actually good people's fun. So let's stop it. Let's, let's, let's focus and, and let's give people a chance. You know, if, if a person really trying to be there and help you in life, just take a deep breath. I know it's scary, bro. You ain't even got to tell me. I know it's scary, man. You think they just trying to get you. I know. I know what you feeling. Believe me. If anybody know, I know the feeling of, man, what they trying to do? Are they trying to set me up? Or they talking about me? Or fuck them up. You know, you got to stop. Just take a deep breath and be like, ain't nobody harming me. They just, Some people just trying to help me. So please, yo. Please, please listen to the video over and over and over again because I think a lot of us are dealing with that fear of thinking the world is out to get us when some people just actually want to help. I love y'all. Have a great day, man. I'll see y'all on the next one. Can you jump? Where are you? Back door. Good dunk. Ooh. Shot. Oh, I thought I missed that. I did too. <laughs> Yo, take me. Where are you? Good. Good. Good way not to go out there. That's what I try to get people to understand. Why would you close out a shot you know you can't get to? Yeah. Great pass. Good teamwork. Shot. Like, I be trying to tell, like, it's no point of going. You, It's dead. Just stay and get the rebound. Good shit. Good teamwork. Great defense. 
That's crazy because I try to hit Rory. I, was, I don't want to be eye kind of killing me right now. I know that song. My boy said he back in the school. We can't do it like that. I feel you. I need to do what you gotta do. Fucking dumbass jubilee. <laughs> this game, dog, is tough. <laughs> that was funny, though. I got boxed out. Light. Okay. Where are you back door? It's dead. That's green. It rebound. What? <laughs> you a center missing layup. <laughs> Yo, no, man. Yo, what you got to say about that sport? That's bad. That's bad, man. No way my seven footer missing layups, bro. Are you seven feet? Nah, six eight, yeah, that's not fun. Oh. And he made that on you? That shit never. <laughs> never. I got back door with you. Go. Sight. Oh, you got it. 2K definitely will make you miss. Uh, standing lay ass. You know how your first shot up. <laughs> Shit, it's a fucking festival out here. Hmm. But making all the contested jumps. Because it's saying light. Hit square, hit square. Run, 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 run. That's on me, Roy. Yeah, I can I'm so used to him. Yeah. Hit square for him. The circle too. Yeah, my bad. <laughs> Good game. He said, "How how the fuck did you get through that with the ball?" Because the game is bouncing people's off now. So let's just say, you know, this is an issue we had in the past where you playing defense and if you move the wrong way, the game going to re release you from your opponent. So it'll just pull you off. It happened a lot um, in the ones. 